Welcome, dear listeners, to the Spiritist Magazine Moment at Kardec Radio. Every week we'll read you an article from the Spiritist Magazine in the English language. You can visit www.thespiritistmagazine.com to obtain more information. You can also download the free app for Apple or Android devices where you can read all of the issues for free. Today's segment is from issue 9, published in October 2009. This article is titled Death, Fear It or Not, and was written by Susanna Simões. It starts, Learn how to live well, and you shall know how to die well. Confucius. Death has been an uninvited, dreaded, and uncomfortable guest in the living room of American society. Only recently have doctors and families felt obliged to tell a terminally ill person that he was in fact dying. In the New York Times in June 29, 1997, author Cheryl Gay Stolberg writes, quote, America is often called a death-denying society. Each year, the United States spends millions on efforts to conquer death, or at least to postpone it, unquote. This is also the view of Dr. Fernwick. Quote, medical advances have given us the power of prolonging life, but have not taught us anything about how to die. Our fear of death and love of life means that we are seldom prepared for either death itself or the process of dying, unquote. The result of medical advances in prolonging life is predicted doubling the number of older elderly, 80 years of age or older, by 2025, in a society unable to experience death without fear and often trauma. Quote, every day can be the day that we die, unquote. Why then are we so terrified? Fear of death is closely linked to the fear of non-existence, non-being, the extension of all we know that we are. And who are we? Are we Marias and Joes? Are we lawyers and engineers? Are we Americans and Japanese? No. We cannot define the essence of who we are by material and circumstantial parameters subject, subject to change and to extinction. We are eternal, divine beings that survive matter and are not defined by any role other than our role as children of God. As divine beings, we transcend death and continue to think, to act, to love, to be. We remain connected to our history and loved ones, ever growing and unfolding, until we reach through the cycle of birth and rebirth, our final destination, the experience of living unconditional love, of experience a continuous flow of inner joy and peace. Fear is often born when one does not know what to expect. Science understands physical death. Spiritism sheds light on the phenomenon of death by explaining it from the spiritual perspective. It dissipates fear of death by defining human essence and revealing the purpose and the true meaning of life and death. Spiritism explains that human beings are tri-dimensional. They are spirits with a spiritual body, called a perispirit, within a physical body. The perispirit is what connects the physical body to the spirit while incarnated. It is better known by its name in the exoteric world, astral body. The physical body is the only thing that dies. The spirit discarnates with its pair spirit, meaning that they disconnect molecule by molecule from the physical body. 
physical death and discarnation are two connected but distinctive processes. There are factors that facilitate the discarnation process. One is age. Aging means a natural decline in its levels of physical ability or vitality. This decline weakens the energetic bonds that keep the connection of the body and the parent spirit. This explains why many elderly start to live in the spiritual life and talk about and with the dead as they enter a period of frailty. Another factor is the awareness that reality does not lie in matter. Detachment from the physical body is easier when the mind has learned through life to detach itself from matter. When the individual leaves considering material life as a means, not the end of his or her ex existence. We immerse ourselves in matter in order to learn how to detach from it. We incarnate in order to learn how to love unconditionally. The greater the attachment to the physical world, the more difficult it becomes for the spirit to adjust to its new reality and to the spiritual dimension of life. This attachment also influences the time of confusion that the spirit naturally experiences in its transition. It has been revealed that the spirit experiences a level of confusion that can be compared to when one wakes up from a deep sleep and feels disoriented in relation to the time and place of day. The greater the detachment, the longer is the confusion and difficulty that the spirit might experience. Another step in the discarnating process is called the reminiscence process. It is an automatic psychological mechanism whereby the spirit relieves, during a brief lapse of time, the emotions of a lifetime. These emotions are projected in the mind in the form of images of an extraordinary movie running at a very fast speed. It is the final assessment of the seized physical existence that will propel us forward into the new reality. Commonly, guilt and unfinished emotional businesses can become obstacles to the spirit in the transition from material life to real life. The person's emotional reality and level of spiritual awareness are significant factors in determining the state of mental heaven or hell that one will experience after physical death. One of the people's greatest misunderstandings about death is what they consider to be a good death. Many people believe that a good death is painless and quick one, such as a sudden heart attack. However, spiritually speaking, Prolonged diseases often serve as a treatment to the spirit, a valuable therapeutic resource, helping the person to rid himself from worldly illusions, preparing the spirit to better enter the spiritual realm. The question remains, should we fear death? Should we fear hell? What should we expect? Expect the continuity of life and all that you are in essence. Expect to continue to love and to be loved, to grow, to learn, and to progress towards God. Are you in hell now? Are you living conscious of your spiritual nature? Is your intention to love? Are you practicing forgiveness? If you do not feel you are in hell now, and if you answered yes to the above questions, you do not have anything to fear. If you feel in hell now and are not living life conscious of your spiritual nature, you also do not have anything to fear. To die is to live. Death is an illusion. 
Hell is a state of mind. God is justice, but above all, a loving Father who will give His children unlimited opportunities. Your destination is happiness. Be well, be alive, be in peace, be love, and you will have conquered death by learning how to live well. Susana Simões is the present founder of the Conscious Living Spiritist Center in Miami, Florida, and also a doctor of physical therapy. Dear listeners, as brought to us by this article, let us live consciously of our spiritual nature and our destination to be one with the Creator. Let us be kind and loving towards others and ourselves. And until next week, if you have any questions, please send them to kardecradio at, car- at gmail.com. God willing, we'll see you next time. Many blessings. <music>